Hey guys! Oh, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I am filming this one um, just like a week before it's going out for a change. I showed you this video, um, I think two weeks ago, um, of the personal size ring planner that I got from Fajosma that I have been wanting to set up. I've been slowly working on printing some stuff. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you sort of some of the behind the scenes setup process. Um, including an unboxing and uh, just sort of some thoughts on how I'm doing this. So uh, let's let's start with, let's see, I opened it up and I took out all of the paper because I don't really use plain paper um, too much. It, was, it came with some lined and some blank. I wasn't really going to use either of those. And my mom also uses a personal size ring planner um, and she does use those for like lists and stuff. So I handed those off to her uh, when she was visiting. So uh, that's why that's not in here anymore. I am going to be using uh, at least the card holder and possibly, probably the uh, zipper pouch as well because I don't have the back pocket anymore and I'm going to be missing that. Um, so that's where we are here. Nothing has been added to it yet. Um, in my pocket size, I went through and basically just took an inventory of everything that's in here and what insert it's on. Um, to make for myself like a checklist of everything that I needed to print. Um, as you see, there's still a couple things I haven't printed yet. They need special formatting uh, before I print them. And so that's why I haven't done that yet. I have to do my monthlies. I think I'll do May and June. Um, and then I guess, well, maybe I won't set up June yet because that will be another video. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided how many videos this setup process will be, but I basically went through and every single thing I was like, okay, I have you know this running to-do list here. I might be reorganizing where all of this stuff goes, but I know I'm going to need it. Um, so I checked off like how many of the uh, checklist pages I needed. I printed out a whole bunch of extras. So I've got all of this here. Um, what I also got besides all of these lovely printed inserts is I also got some acetate to print on. Um, basically it's just transparency film. Do you guys remember overhead transparency uh, stuff? Like they used to have them in classrooms and stuff. And you would... Anyway, yeah, that still exists. You can buy it on Amazon and you can print on it. Um, so I got this sort of, a, it's a free digital scrapbooking paper download that I found. Um, there's a few different versions of it. I've printed a couple of them. And I'm gonna be cutting this to size as well to be using as little dividers, make things a little bit pretty. Um, so I will report back on how that works and how durable it is. And then I also got an order today from Marlene's Plan to Create, who I've been giving back and forth information about for years now. Um, she made the frosted plastic tab dividers that I keep in my pocket planner um, and love. And so I've been mentioning her name, if you've been following all of my flip throughs, um, you'll have heard that name before, but for a while I was m under the mistaken um, idea that she had closed her shop, but I don't think she ever did, or maybe she did, but she reopened it. Anyway, I got new um, tap dividers and stuff for my personal size. So let's take a look. I haven't opened this yet. It just came in the mail today. So I've got my six side tabs. Very cute. There you go. I don't know if you can, they're, yeah, they're frosted plastic, so they're kind of clear, um, which I like because you can see kind of through them. Um, then I also got the three top tabs that I use for my month, week, day. Basically, I wanted to just duplicate the setup that I have in my pocket size. Um, and if I wanted to ever change it, that's fine. But there we go. Then I've got this one here. Um, in my pocket size, I have it in white and it says now. You get to pick one word. I wish you could pick two because I would almost rather put like a small phrase, but I decided to put this word enough to sort of inspire me um, when I'm thinking about my planning philosophy and trying not to overdo it. So that's going to be the front. Um, and then I'll have the tabs behind it. So the very front, like flyleaf page. And I got some other goodies. 
um, that, you know, I got some stuff so I can get free shipping, and I'm very excited. It looks like there might be something in here I didn't order also, so let's take a look. All right. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I got a bookmark, which is actually perfect because that's something that I forgot to consider about ordering. So that's awesome. I will definitely use that. Got Oh, a mini bookmark. That's cute. So I could actually use this in my pocket size as well. That's awesome. Um, some stickers. That's sweet. Um, so these, these two I didn't order. Um, this, these are all freebies. It says breathe. Love it. It says love who you are. These are great. I could use these on some of the dashboards probably. And then I did order these. Um, these are transparency sticky notes. They're like, I think they're kind of going to look similar to the frosted plastic look. Let me see if I can open these and take a look. Um, one thing about personal size. Oh, I see it's like glittery. No, it's not. It's just the adhesive. All right. So here's what it looks like. Yeah. So it's a little bit transparent, a little bit um, frosted and obviously like matte so that I can write on them. I'm excited to try these. Um, I will have to test what kinds of pens work well on them. But one thing about personal size is that this will actually fit um, the three by three sticky notes, whereas in the pocket size, um, three by three is too wide. You have to either trim them or use them sideways and have them overhang or, um, just only use the two and a half by three post-its, which I generally do. Um, and then I also got a couple of big, um, paper clips also in black to match the wording on this dashboard. They're just giant paper clips. Um, I've been using these little paper clips. Let me see, I'll find one. Oh, here. These ones um, to sort of clip some pages together, but I've been kind of hiding the back. They, they're they um, from work, like they were old and weren't being used. Um, so they have like the acronym of my company on there. So I'm kind of been not showing that more or less. Um, and they're a little bit fidgety, fiddly, and I feel like I'm damaging the edges of my pages when I use them. So I'm gonna try these instead. Um, they're just a little bit more streamlined and I think they'll be uh, cute aesthetically. So that's a lot of fun stuff that I will be including in here. Um, as part of the setup, I have to figure out like what order everything is going in, obviously. Um, and then do the actual like moving of data back and forth. So that's going to be sort of a project that is not going to be mostly on camera because I can work on that. Like when I'm sitting in the living room, holding a sleeping baby and, uh, watching network TV or antenna TV. Um, we've been watching a lot of Little House on the Prairie reruns. My husband never saw that and we did growing up. Um, my battery is running out faster than I anticipated. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of uh, footage of me cutting up some of these inserts and sort of tell you about some of the choices I made as I do that. But at some point, I will have to stop. Hopefully, that will be with enough time to say goodbye. Alright. So, let's see. I think backwards. Start with some weeklies. I'm going to go ahead and try using the rolling weekly again. I haven't used that in a little while. Um, so, that will be fun to try. I feel like, so I've been using the 24 hour, um, what's it called? Yeah. 24 hour weekly. It's like the time blocking weekly and it's been fine. Is this like here? All right. Um, it's been working fine, but it's a little bit too much. So I'm thinking that this will be a bit more economical space wise. Um, I can do some and I don't have to worry about the rest. Let's see, it's three and seven five, right? I'm trying to check here. Why is it? Oh, right. That's why. All right, so I have to worry about these edges here. <laughs> the problem with this paper cutter, I like this paper cutter, but it is. Um, doesn't have the guideline for where to cut, so that just makes it a little bit annoying. I have to put this 
here. Three seven five. And I have to remember to change the settings on my hole punch before I hole punch. That would be annoying. All right, I went and I had some peanut points. I got the gold planning insert from Peanuts Planner Co. that I use so much. It's been like the only one that I've been using from her so far, like that's not part of my shop. Um, the only insert that's not my own has been from Peanuts Planner Co., this gold planning insert, which I love. Um, but I also went ahead and grabbed this journaling one. This looked like it could be useful for dailies right now on days where I'm finding that like I would like to have some sort of, you know, intention uh, for the day, maybe be a bit thoughtful about what I'm doing in my day, but also not super focused on tasks all the time because I haven't needed to be focused on tasks. There's not that many tasks in my day right now. Um, because, you know, just basically spending my time feeding a newborn and stuff. So, let's see. That's right. He's been really good, by the way. I haven't really talked much about him on this channel yet because I haven't really made videos since he was born. But he's doing really good. He's sleeping really well. Um, more or less, so we're feeling um, hopeful that that will stick, but I also waited, you know, like ready for it not to. I will try to remember to post um, a link to the sleep training video I did for our second baby. She broke me by a month old, so that is sort of the, <laughs> and I mean literally, like, broke my spirit. I was not doing well that night. Um, so, uh, I'm looking for that as like a, a benchmark, you know, if I can make it to a month and he still is doing okay, then I'm going to breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief. He's sleeping in his crib more than his sister did, I think, at this age, but I don't really, like, memory is foggy. Alright, so I printed some extra dailies, um, of my own. This is insert 22 with the time ladder. Insert 45 with the weather doodle, and insert 46 is the two days per page. I just like to have some dailies on hand uh, so that I can use one when I feel like I need one, though the daily is sort of built into the rolling weekly, so I probably won't be using them too much right away. And, you know, if they don't fit too well in the rings, then I guess I will not worry about it. Oh. To one mode with the sizes and stuff, and I'm so used to get size just for like cutting and punching, but hopefully that won't be an issue. Alright, we've got a couple sheets of grid paper, a couple sheets of the two columns. These are all gonna go just in the back. Um, that's insert nine, a couple sheets of lined, which is 15, that one's a freebie, and then a couple sheets of um, insert three, which is the check boxes. All right, hopefully this isn't too many pages. Let's see here. I think it says somewhere on here how many it's supposed to cut. <coughs> yep, that was too many. Extra sheets in the back is always useful. Just... So 
because I haven't figured out yet how many pages I'm going to need for like migrating existing projects. I have some things that are sort of in the works. I guess one of the project pages currently in my pocket doesn't need to be there anymore. But I finished it. Guys, I wrote thank you notes for my baby shower after the baby was born. I think that means I'm bored. Um, because I never got thank you notes written for the baby shower with our first. It never happened. And so I'm definitely, well, I guess I'm extra grateful for this one because, like, it didn't need to happen. We already had most of the stuff we needed. It was just clothes. And now we have so many clothes. Alright, I have the tab index. This goes in the back um, to mark off what the different sections are. I'm going to need that especially if I'm moving stuff around. I'm just going to go through the rest of what I have because I think I'm going to have to stop filming. Uh, the to read, watch, listen page for you know, shows I want to watch. Probably should reevaluate what's on my list because we're just watching Little House on the Prairie and 911. Um, wish list and gift ideas are both... Um, need to be sort of pared down you know when you migrate a list over and you can eliminate the things that have already been checked off it feels nice and like a fresh start you know meal plans I printed two of these because I always feel like I need to have more of them um, then I've got oh this is like all the stuff from the front let's see birthdays and anniversaries library book due dates um, recurring tasks these are the ones that are like odd numbers of whatever. This is the, um, this is monthly, is, what was it called? Monthly tasks, I think. I forget exactly, but it's insert 63. This is for things that are like in a number of months. You know, you do this thing every other month or every month or whatever. Um, then far future log goes at the end of the future log, which is insert 54, which goes across two pages. Oh, and then this one here is um, the fold out. You see, this is, I need to make sure that I print this or cut this one carefully. Um, this is the fold out that I use at the front for my inbox so that I don't have to hide stuff on my inbox when you want to have somewhere I can write down like account numbers or, you know, anything that's a little bit personal. I use that a lot when I'm on my phone. So I have somewhere to quickly jot down information without having to worry about categorizing it in the moment. Don't use it a lot, but when I do, I'm glad I have it. So let's, uh, there we go. Let's cut here. I'm just kind of feeling for the edge of the, yeah. There we go. And then this will get folded over. It's quite nicely for my inbox. I'll have to decorate that. And I'm going to go in the very front. So that's everything. I'm um, going to finish cutting these off camera. Like I said, stop recording now because, like I said, my battery, um, it runs down faster than it says it's going to. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at um, the setup process. It's sort of a multi-week thing because, like I said, I can't, like, you know, just spend my whole day in here. I've got a baby who needs to be taken care of and often... Need somebody to hold him in order to get a decent nap. Not all the time, but um, you know, taking the moments where I can. Enjoying um, a few things. Got out into the garden just briefly today to like put tomatoes, you know, tuck my tomatoes into their cages and stuff. Things are going well um, overall. And thank you guys for your prayers and support. I will see you guys in the next video next Thursday, which I can't keep track, but I think it might be time for the, the monthly plan with me. So, um, in any case, there will be a video next Thursday, and I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye!